Just as the ear is the first of the five senses to develop, it's also the last to go. And so people who are in hospice units and are in the last stages of life can still appreciate, they can listen to music, and many hospice, hospice units have music therapists now that play harps at the bedside, just the small little Celtic harps. They'll play hymns, they'll play folk songs, any music that, that is meaningful to the patient. And one of the hospitals that I talked to said that they actually make a tape of that music and after the person has passed away, they give that tape to the family. And the family finds it so meaningful because that's, that's the music that their loved one was listening to. And um, again, singing with your own voice to a loved one when they are at that point in their life is a wonderful thing to do. Uh, I definitely want that. When it's, when it's my time, I want everybody around the bed singing music. I don't know if it'll be the Beatles or hymns or whatever, a little of everything probably. But it's, it's a beautiful idea and it's very easy to do. You know, you don't, you don't have to spend any money just to use your own voice. And it's so effective.